In this paper, we are presenting a new approach for reliability estimation of microprocessor-based systems. The work is the result of a collaboration between Politecnico di Torino in Italy and the LIRM Laboratory in Montpellier, France. There are several motivations for investigating new ways of estimating the reliability of a system. The next generation of electronic devices will be faster, cheaper, and more powerful than ever before. There are two main consequences. One is good, and the other a lot less exciting. Electronic devices will be more and more embedded in every aspect of our life, but unfortunately, so will their unreliability. Not only is the technology more prone to errors, but pervading unreliable devices may also mean pervasive failures. The first step to avoid this is being able to understand how reliable a system actually is possibly even before designing it. And when we say system, we mean hardware, software, and any other of its components. So you may ask, how is this done today? Well, people mostly use fault injection. They take the system and artificially inject faults to see how the system reacts. This approach is slow, expensive, and it requires at least a simulation model, which, given the complexity of the system, is usually not available. This makes it also unusable for early design exploration. So we think there is another way to solve this problem. Let's start from two facts. One, systems are too complex. We need to think about them as an interconnection of reusable hardware and software blocks. It is a lot easier to profile the reliability of each individual component of the system. Two, the way hardware blocks are used depends mainly on the software running on them. Therefore, we don't care if a system has a hardware fault unless the fault manifests itself in the software outcome. This also means that instead of protecting the whole system from faults, it may only be necessary to protect specific parts. In this paper, we show how it is possible to estimate the reliability of a complex system by combining the block's reliability profile and a detailed control and data flow analysis of the software into a statistical model. Up to now, our results have been very interesting. As an example, you can see that our estimated reliability function is closely comparable with the one fault injection based reliability function. The dotted line is instead the reliability function of the microprocessor not considering the software. But there is another huge difference. Our computation requires about two order of magnitude less time compared with an exhaustive fault ejection experiment. Wrapping up, this paper is a first significant step towards a new reliability estimation method that in the future could become the backbone for new tools able to help engineers design very reliable pervasive systems. Thank you for your attention and I hope you will enjoy the paper.